Welcome to Sports Sunday, everybody. I'm Chris Saunders. The Golden Knights with the weekend off, mainly in part due to Tropical Storm Isaac moving through the Bahamas. However, Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture is still basking in the glory of the Golden Wind. But it shows where we are on the world stage. The U.S. is a sporting power. It's an economic power. It's a military power. And we're showing that we are a power also. Um, this is the kind of excellence that you can achieve by people coming together. It is so interesting that these guys, not as individuals, won events. Not as individuals brought home the gold. But as a team, yeah, as a team, as a group, brought everything together at the right time at the right moment and everyone in the Bahamas today Chris today remembers where they were at 4 20 p.m. when Ramon Miller was coming down the back stretch and just about and we could see it you know he was gonna pass this giant of an American and as Miller passed we kind of looked at him and said well next time Still talking about the Olympics, Olympic silver medalist from the Beijing Games, Andretti Bain, he's also a two-time NCAA champion, has opened up his own dream. It's called the Bahamian Dream Sports and Lifestyle Nutrition Center. It's something he's been working on for quite a while, and he says athletes have been really responsive. They think it's a very, very good idea. They love it, especially my prices. It's extremely affordable. I can almost post the best prices in the Bahamas. And um, the personal connection that I have with the athletes, you know, I make it a point to go and find out the needs because I believe in, in athletics. You know, th these, these things should be personalized. What works for me doesn't necessarily work for you or uh, someone else. You know, so you need to know your body. You need to come in and decide on, okay, what supplement would be best for me. And so the athletes are extremely excited about it. And that'll do it for sports on a Sunday night. I'm Chris Saunders. Your final look at weather is still to come.